Milo Yiannopoulos has some of the most controversial moments, and some of them get broadcast on live TV to millions of people at home. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at Milo Yiannopoulos' best moments on live TV. And without further ado, let's dive in. Number 1. Ghostbusters in this clip, Milo was getting interviewed about some recent tweets he wrote that were aimed towards the cast of Ghostbusters. One of those tweets included him saying that the cast was fat and ugly. You can see that the interviewer was starting to get really angry. Take a look. You wrote a scathing review about Ghostbusters. It was quite, well, quite measured. It's just everybody else was lying that they liked the movie when nobody really did. And then what happened? Uh, so I exchanged some words with Leslie Jones, one of the one of the leads who I was unimpressed with, like I was unimpressed with all of them. I cracked some jokes, I was mean and bitchy like I always am. And if I crack a few jokes at a Hollywood megastar's expense, so what? So I printed out a couple of those, just to just, just Go say, right okay, so... I posted them, said. I'm sure, I'm, sure right. I'm fine. So, yeah, I said the women in. As you can see, Milo doubles down on all his opinions, not even apologizing to the cast for the words he said. This just goes to show that when Milo Yiannopoulos has an opinion, he won't let go of it. Yeah, we're fat and ugly and ugly and fat, and they are, and I'll tell you why I find this problematic. We've started to marginalize traditional beauty standards, you know? Now what we're expected to do is to celebrate body positivity and, and, and you know, that it's okay to, to abuse their bodies, to run the risk of horrible diseases and awful chronic conditions and to die sooner. That's horrible. Um, what I'm trying to do is draw attention to a critique of, of what's happening in mainstream beauty culture. And that comes from compassion about what, we're, what the messages we're sending to young girls. So is that compassionate though, saying they're fat, fat, ugly, ugly? The piece... Number two, body image. In this next clip, Milo was doing a live interview with a representative that works with teenagers to help them have a better image of themselves. However, when Milo gets a chance to talk, he starts to slowly but surely try to shut down the fact that people think they're too skinny. See, And that's why we go into schools and, and work on changing mindsets and giving young people the armor they need to question capitalism, because it, it is, it's in the very fabric of the world that we live in, a mannequin it might shock you out of your revelry, and that's certainly what's happened with this campaign, but this stuff is all around us all the time. Well, it's extraordinary, isn't it, to hear about, you know, the, the fact that there's apparently a problem with women wor wor worrying about being too thin. That's, of course, not the problem. This argument stemmed from the fact that a local shop stopped using skinny mannequins after someone posted an image on Facebook with one of his mannequins. Milo completely disagrees with this and has some more to say about it. Right, the problem is that everyone's getting too fat and actually there's no evidence really that any of this stuff has much of an impact. A lot of the science is very fuzzy on this. It's social science stuff rather than any, any real sort of uh, reports or anything. I mean, what, what worries me about all of this kind of stuff is the implication that um, somehow we're going to make people's lives happier or better um, by encouraging them to believe that whatever body shape they are and whatever they look like, they're beautiful and they're going to be happy. That's, evident, that's quite clearly not the case. I mean, if you look at women's, women's happiness has been going down uh, since the Second World War, actually, every decade. Number three. Jordan Peterson. Coming up next, we have a clip of Milo Yiannopoulos sending a message to Jordan Peterson and saying he's hypocritical and that his actions don't match his words. And later on, you'll see what Jordan Peterson had to say for himself. Now, the next question is a video. It's uh, from Milo Yiannopoulos in Miami. Hey, Dr. Peterson, it's uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. Um, you talk a good game about standing up for men and for boys, and you've certainly amassed a big army of them. But a few of us have been wondering recently with your silence on Kavanaugh, your silence on the innocent Covington boys. And then when you've said things like, for instance, when you told the New York Times' as Barry Weiss that you thought I might be a racist when you know I'm not, that perhaps your actions aren't matching your words. Milo isn't holding back and keeps firing shot after shot in that video towards Jordan Peterson. The best part, however, was that this was a live Q&A with Jordan Peterson. So let's see what he had to say regarding Milo's opinions. Number 4. Donald Trump and Ariana Grande Milo Yiannopoulos was doing an interview with the Associated Press when he shared some of his quite controversial thoughts on the President Donald J. Trump and the famous pop singer Ariana Grande. Let's take a look. To change, you know, gay marriage or equal marriage as the, as the left calls it. Um, he said he didn't mind, you know, what bathroom Caitlyn Jenner wants to use soundly, completely unimpressed by Ariana Grande's reaction to the concert when she should have turned around and struck a blow in culture for the supreme and, 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 and great values of Western civilization instead of just saying, oh, love wins, let's end hate. You know, like, what does that even mean? You are condemning neo-Nazis. He says that Trump was the most gay-friendly president, but he doesn't like what Ariana Grande did regarding one of her recent allegations involving one of her concerts. Milo keeps sharing his opinion, and here is some more of it. Alt-right groups, is that what you're saying? Are you kidding me? They hate me. 
people on the far right hate me as much as the far left. The uh, the Daily Stormer, which is the the neo-Nazi hub of the internet, declared a holy war on me. They said they said they were going to take a crusade against me. I, I was, in their words, the single greatest threat to their movement. And and, and they said they were going to boycott Breitbart until Breitbart fired me. This is what the pre- you know what you'll never know from just reading news stories about me is that the far right hates me as much as the far left does. Number five. Feminism. In this next clip, Milo was doing an interview in which the interviewer is asking him why it is that he hates the feminist movement. He even stops Milo from interrupting him at one moment. Let's just say this clip is quite controversial. And you really, really are against feminism. Uh. Before I let you do your piece, mm-hmm. uh, now my sense is that feminism, at least the way it started, was that women wanted equality. They wanted the same equality of opportunity that men had. There is no doubt that uh, most of these roads in our society have been easier Mm -hmm. for men. I think you would argue that that's changed now. Um, But so what what do you think of the feminist movement? You were just kicked out of the Amber Rose Sutwalk uh, two days ago. The interviewer lets Milo share his opinion, and he says that the movement isn't what it used to be, and that it's moved on from its original goal of giving men and women equal rights. Do you agree with this? Well, she, she was today. here today. I'm so sorry yeah. we didn't run into her. She was here I today. Would have given her a piece of my mind. Why um, would you hate feminist? Well, the picture you paint is perfectly accurate, or at least it was until perhaps 10, maybe 15 years ago. So only recently. It's changed very recently. I think most people instinctively agree with the equality of opportunity and equality of access for women. They want women to have the opportunity to do anything they want, um, to rise as high as a man if they're prepared to work as hard and, and put the same amount of hours in. And, of course, I agree with that. I think everybody agrees with that. That's not what modern intersectional third wave, as it's called, feminism is about, which seems to me, and I think to a lot of women too, primarily to be about man-hating. Um, it is a- so in conclusion, Milo Yiannopoulos has had his fair share of controversial live TV moments. Whether it be sharing his opinion or confronting others about theirs, Milo never backs down and is ready to defend his point of view. That brings us to the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more frequent uploads just like this one. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.